Hello, my name is Colin Smith and I'm the executive aide to Mayor Nicholson and I'll be filling in for him this week. Mayor Nicholson announced earlier this week the receipt of a $4.1 million grant from the state for the development of the Rear Main Street Corridor, the latest part of a nearly $10 million investment the city has made in the downtown over the past year. The funding for this project comes from the Commonwealth's Mass Works Grant Program and will be used to construct a new event plaza, food truck parking area, 165 space unmetered parking lot, and information stations in the rear Main Street lot. The development will also allow for rear access to several of the buildings on Main Street and add new entryways connecting Main Street to the rear Main Street Derby Drive area. Also included in this project on rear Main Street is a new apartment complex that will have 56 units of workforce housing. The building is expected to be approximately 60,000 square feet and bring in approximately 55,000 in tax revenue annually. Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito will be visiting the city in the coming weeks to celebrate these accomplishments and others. In the meantime, the city is going to be installing banners along the fence of Orpheum Park at the site of the former Orpheum Movie Theater and in the windows of the Ryan Block and Temptations building that highlight the details of some of these projects. So please check those out at your leisure. Earlier today, the mayor and I visited another exciting project going on here in the city at 58 Osgood Street. Newview Properties has acquired the previously uninhabited structure with the city's assistance and is investing several hundred thousand dollars to make it suitable for residency once again. The project is part of a larger state initiative called the Liabilities to Assets Program, which helps communities stabilize neighborhoods by redeveloping deteriorated properties that are considered a blight. It's part of the city's long-term commitment to replacing blight with promise here in Gardner. You can check out the City Hall's Facebook page for pictures and more details of that ongoing project. On Monday, Gardner partnered with the Boston Tea Party Ships and Museum to honor one of its most famous residents, Joseph Payson, one of the men who participated in the Boston Tea Party on December 16, 1773. Payson went on to serve in the Revolutionary War and was one of the original signers of the petition to incorporate Gardner as a town in 1785. He is buried in the old burying ground behind the First Congregational Church, and on Monday his grave, his grave site was commemorated by costume reenactors from the Tea Party Museum pictures of which can be found on the city Facebook page. Trick or Treat will be held here in the city on Sunday, Halloween night from 5 to 7, during which time the ballot box outside City Hall will be closed. Two polling locations have been changed for Tuesday's municipal elections. Ward 3 has been changed to Perry Auditorium here at City Hall, and Ward 5 has been changed to the Polish American Citizens Club. If you have any questions on where or how to vote in Tuesday's election, please contact the city clerk's office at 978 630-4058. That concludes this week's Mayor's Update. The Mayor will return next week. Until then, please reach out to our office with any questions you may have or stop by and see us in person. It's truly always a pleasure to hear from you. Take care.